Hello, this is Chris Frisella from Bonehead Composites. Hi, this is Chris Frisella from Bonehead Composites. So the CS1 communications finally for the tunnel and skydiving. Kind of looks like the dynamic. Although we got Bluetooth radio, audio processor, and not one, but two microphones. So basically our system takes audio from two microphones. Uh, d they determine what, what's noise, what's not noise, take out the noise, send the audio through. And it works really good. Uh, you can take instructions head down well over 90%. Pretty cool. I think it's cool. I'm biased though. To charge both devices, there's one plug-in. Both devices have their own batteries. Uh, one plug-in charges both of them. You get 13 hours continuous use on the uh, audio processor and about 15 hours on the Bluetooth radio. Uh, about two weeks if it's just on standby. A nice reason uh, or feature for being able to turn off the microphones while you're still on intercom is because if you're like in the tunnel with three other people or whatever and if you're like me you get out and I'm huffing and puffing I don't want to sit down and be huffing and puffing into my microphones for everybody else to hear so when I come out I turn off the microphones I can still hear what they're saying so I'll know when to turn them back on but yeah you don't want them to know you're dying one other feature about the comms package is we have side tone installed uh, in the audio system. What is side tone? Side tone is basically a playback of what you're saying real time. Um, in the tunnel, this is an absolute must because over a certain airspeed, you won't be able to hear yourself talk and you'll have a really difficult time um, judging the volume of your voice. So you'll be screaming unless you had the side tone. We also have uh, an, uh, an auxiliary jack uh, that mounts on the side of the helmet and what you do is you can plug in a uh, chest mounted radio so an instructor could be on the ground talking a student down under canopy whereas at the same time that student could have been talking to another instructor in the airplane on intercom. Kind of cool. I think the military is going to like that. We even got special earbuds. They're super small. Actually pretty good. And the length of cord is cut correctly so you don't have 10 feet of lines hanging out of your helmet. The visor lock is the same style as the dynamic and arrow. Although we moved the, uh, the little buttons up top. Make it a little easier to get to. Plus I added another spring so it's got two springs now. So I like that positive lock. Did I say everything is pretty much made here? About 95% of it anyways. Uh, we do all the tooling, all the molding, the designing, all the machining. Got my milling machine in back of me. All the injection molding, rubber parts, plastic parts. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. So when you come here, it's not a warehouse full of random parts from different countries it's actually a factory. So I could take a block of aluminum put it in this machine cut a mold and put it in that machine push a button and out comes the plastic part <laughs> I know somebody will say that's badass out there. What else? What else? I don't know. It was cool flying with my little baby girl, Charlie. She's nine. Being able to talk to her daddy while we're flying. That was really cool. So anyways, there's probably more aspects I can cover. Fitting the helmet, sizing the helmet. Those are all, all pretty easy. Um, I'll probably come in here on another morning and do that. But anyways, let's look at the video. See what it actually does. Thanks. Remember, the next is 
lava. Okay. It's hot lava. Okay, let's do a front duck. Front duck? Come up the bed. Come up the bed. I'm not on the bed. Front duck. Front duck. Front duck. Okay. See yeah. 